I haven't had time to actually think about what it is to be free, what it means to be free, what it is to have this life back. I get out and it's such a different world. There's so much more going on. I'm ready for anything, really. I kind of want some Dairy Queen. <laughs> I'm Erin Moriarty. I've been following the case of Ryan Ferguson since 2005, when he went on trial for the murder of newspaper sports editor Kent Heithold. From the beginning, there was just something not right about this case. There is no physical evidence whatsoever to connect Ryan to the crime scene. Recording this will be Detective Stroer. A lot of it's kind of foggy, kind of fuzzy to you as, as to what you remember. Your Honor, the state calls Charles Erickson. I looked up, and Ryan was over the victim. He had his foot on his back, and he was pulling up on the belt. The reality is that he chose to lie about me. As to count one, guilty of murder in the second degree. It just sucked the air right out of us. We were absolutely devastated. Ryan Ferguson never should have been tried for this murder. This case is full of holes. It's just full of holes. Brian Ferguson is actually innocent. I think I saw Ryan. Oh my God, I, it's there. Oh my God, look at that. Oh it cannot get better than that. <laughs> oh my God. I think I've proven my innocence. I think most people in the world, in the whole world, can see that. End of story? Not yet. Not for Ryan Ferguson. It's very daunting. You don't know what you're doing in this world, and you don't know how to navigate it and operate in it. And not for his accuser. It was really easy for the police and the prosecutors to manipulate me. I'm angry. I'm angry at myself. I feel like I've been played for a fool, and I feel like I should be released from prison. I know that Charles Erickson is absolutely innocent. When you've got innocent people locked up, you've got the murderer still on the street. They need to find the real killer. <laughs>